step wise thinking every task from cooking to making rockets has a sequence of steps that need to be followed to do any task follow these steps list the main steps of the task divide each main step into smaller steps follow the sequence of steps let's take an example to make a fruit salad first list the main steps step 1 arrange fruits step 2 cut fruits step 3 add ingredients step 4 serve the salad now divide these steps and list smaller steps step 1 arrange fruits step 1a think of fruits you want to use step 1b sort and keep them in a plate step 2 cut fruits step 2a wash the fruits with clean water step 2b peel the fruits if you want to step 2c pick a knife and cut them into cubes step 3 add ingredients step 3a add salt to taste step 3b squeeze half a lemon step 4 serve the salad the process of completing one step and going on to the other is known as step wise thinking sometimes a step can be missing you can find it by using your reasoning and problem solving skills let's solve some case studies with the help of step wise thinking case study 1 You have to plan and organize a birthday party. How will you organize things in proper order? To organize a birthday party, the given steps will be followed. Step 1: Make a list of family members and friends to be invited. Step 2: Decide the time and place for the party. Step 3: Inform family members and friends about the party place through phone calls or email. Step 4 Greet the guest with love and warmth. Step 5 Start and enjoy the party. If you miss one step or do not write the steps in the correct order, the output will not be what you want it to be. Case study 2 Suppose you have to arrange your school bag according to the timetable of Monday. How will you arrange your school bag? To do this Follow these steps. Step 1: Open your school bag and make sure it's empty. Step 2: See the timetable for Monday from your school diary. Step 3: Bring your books and notebooks from your bookshelf. Step 4: Keep some books and notebooks in one section of your school bag according to the subject's periods for the first half. Step 5: Keep remaining books and notebooks in the second section of your school bag according to the subject's periods for the second half step 6 keep a pencil box diary and lunch box in another section of your school bag step 7 close your school bag this is how you arrange your school bags accordingly every day by following above steps